Hi my friends, today we're going to look at the Modern Guide to Witchcraft, Your Complete Guide to Witches, Covens, and Spells by Sky Alexander. Here's the contents page. You can pause here so you can read it or screenshot and blow it up so that you may read it. And the rest of the contents. So you want to be a witch is how it begins with the introduction. And I like that. It's blunt, direct, and to the point. If you don't want to be a witch, you can put the book back on the shelf. That's pretty self-explanatory. More books should come like this. Why is witchcraft gaining popularity today? What well, you'll learn from this book. I absolutely love the way it looks. These pages, they're really great. And on the edges, it looks rough, kind of rough like. I like that. I like the way that looks. And what good 101 book doesn't begin with the definition of witchcraft? And here we are. What is witchcraft? Common misconceptions about witches, witchcraft and religion. Where do witches go when they die? The witch's connection with nature. You're already a magician. Ten good things magic can do for you. Improve your love life. Attract prosperity. Keep you and your loved ones safe from harm. Enhance your health. Protect your home and personal property. Open up new career opportunities give more control over your life improve interactions with family friends and co-workers ward off problems and enemies strengthen your intuition and psychic skills if that doesn't sell you on maybe giving magic a go what will that sounds fantastic the law of attraction Magic isn't just black and white. You always need some history added in a 101 book on witchcraft, and a concise history of witchcraft in the West is probably a really good way to go. She discusses the old religion, magical beginnings, wise men and women, witchcraft in Europe, fairy tale witches, criminalizing witchcraft, the Burning Times, Witchcraft in the New World, Witchcraft in Salem, Hallucinating Witches. One theory suggests that people supposedly afflicted by witchcraft in Salem were actually high on a fungus called, I can't pronounce that, that grows on rye bread. The hallucinogen LSD was first derived from Argo. Therefore, the strange behavior exhibited by the victims was probably due to eating this psychedelic substance, not demonic possession. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> and then she has something about witchcraft's rebirth. And it continues with more history. The magical universe in which we live. Let's start thumbing through, or this is going to take forever. She gives you the definitions of many different types of words that you've heard. Green witches, what is a green witch? Um, modern green witch work, something that is appealing to me and is becoming my path of choice. We have goddesses and gods. Seeing the divine in nature, elementals, it's really, it, it does, it has a lot of good information in it that you can use even if you are solitary as I am. Here's a great chapter on sacred space, something I need to read and put into practice. I don't have a sacred space of my own. 
and it is definitely something that I do need. Preparation for casting a circle. And she has it numbered and listed for you. I mean, she breaks it down and she makes it pretty simple. Here's what some of the charts and listing and information looks like. This, for example, is ingredients for sensational spells using aromatherapy in your spells. Words of power, a guardian angel charm, basil bath, evil eye amulet, breaking the fear barrier, white light safety spell, and those were spells of protection. Spell to attract support, turn up the heat, magic balm to heal a broken heart, simple cauldron spell. A lot of good magical powers of different stones. That's nice. And lavender jasmine. This is our flowers. Yes. Large, big section here on the flowers. With a caution about the poisonous flowers, of course. She includes a section on dreams. A few simple spells. Blessing a new home. Smooth travel spell. And then we get into the sabbats. All the way to forming your own coven. Basically, this book seems to be a full reference guide introduction to witchcraft itself. And I find that I think it will be a fresh new look at witchcraft from a different perspective. I have enjoyed her writing so far. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this book as well. This book is The Modern Guide to Witchcraft, Your Complete Guide to Witches, Covens, and Spells by Sky Alexander. Thank you for stopping by Turquoise Moon. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye for now.